Hokey dokey. In this problem, they give us a bunch of information. Let's just go ahead and read the last statement first. They say calculate the rate of change of the infected population using the SIR model. So from the SIR model, we are using I prime, which represents the rate of change of the infected, I prime. All right. And uh, to help us find this, we will reuse the B uh, equation that we used in the past that says B is equal to 1 divided by the days it takes to recover. So let's go ahead and find B. It says that it takes approximately 24 days to recover from infection. So 1 divided by 24 will be our B value. Can we identify our I and S and our A value in order to calculate I prime? They say the A value is 1.58 times 10 to the negative 5. If you're unfamiliar with scientific notation, you could either just plug this into the calculator. You know, when you're plugging in your A, just go ahead and type in 1.58 times 10 to the negative 5. Put it in parentheses and leave it like that. Um, otherwise, it's basically just telling us we need to have 0 0.12340 zeros, and then the fifth value is the start of the 158. All right, uh, so our A is equal to this if you prefer the decimal, or this if you prefer the scientific notation. And then the I and the S come directly from this sentence here. They say there are 1947 infected. So our I is 1,947. While our S is, well, they say 12,000 have been recovered. It's not what we're looking for. We're not looking for R. They say 142 are still susceptible. So S is susceptible, and S is equal to 142. Once we have B, A, I, and S, we just plug everything in to I prime. So we have A, which I'm just going to copy if I can. Throw that baby there. I'm going to have I, which is 1947, S, 142, minus B, which is 1 over 24, times I, which is 1947. All right, let's see if we can do our little split screen method, and we're going to open Desmos alongside. And we're plugging in this formula here. So we have 0 0.0000158 times 1947 times 142 minus 1 over 24. And that is being multiplied also by 1947. So we get approximately negative 76.76. Point seven six. That's easy enough. Negative seventy six point seven six is equal to I prime. So it should be equal to the number of people that are uh, infected. Uh, it's the rate of change of the infected population um, at day seventy four. So negative seventy seven is our closest answer. Let's break out the eraser and see that B is in fact our answer. So kind of dragged on a little bit, but feel free to check out the second example to kind of get a more succinct uh, walkthrough. All right.